ZBrush is currently considered the best 3D sculpting software, which is mostly used in VFX and game development to create characters and environments of all sorts. That's why you as a user will benefit a lot from some additional tools that can help you speed up your workflow. So in today's video, I will go over a bunch of plugins that can help you save time and effort. Also in the description of this video, you will find a list of some of the best ZBrush plugins and tools that you can find out there. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start with a plugin called Power Camera. When modeling in ZBrush, a good way to create progress and changes from all angles is to save shots. And this can be powerful and useful when working with references. This can be doable with the camera. However, the cameras in ZBrush are a bit tedious to work with. That's why you should try Power Camera, which is gonna help you select shots in the camera tool and save you time with modeling inside ZBrush. The plugin allows you to create nine cameras independently. At the same time, it is easy to work with. You just click on Save Camera, enter a number, then select the camera you want. You can delete them if you want to, or you can go directly and choose flat cameras instead of rotating while holding Shift. And once you apply a material, you can just click on interactive lighting and move the mouse while you are in the interactive light mode. You can also save the last light option or position. And the plugin comes with a turnable option that is easy and quick to use. Now, some tools are not easy to deal with inside ZBrush when working with a model with multiple objects, even if they are named properly inside organized folders. So you will still modify or apply a change with each part by hand separately. But if you use Easy Actions plugin, your time and effort can be saved. The plugin allows you to center all the visible subtools, color them, or apply a material. Also, rotating, translating, or scaling a model with so many subtools is not an easy task. But it is, I think, when you have this plugin. You have dials to set according to the axis or value you want. Also, you will have the actions that you use often very quickly and apply them to any visible subtool. And you can subdivide, join, toggle textures, unify, mirror, and bake layers, which is all quickly and easily done. The next plugin is called Power Shapes. When doing low poly modeling or even preparing the base mesh for complex models, you start blocking out using shapes. And sometimes you need to modify these shapes using Z Modeler. This can take some time. However, if you use Power Shapes, I think it can be easier and quicker. This plugin made for ZBrush users can speed up the workflow when modeling with polygons. One single palette contains 51 different shapes. And after launching the plugin, you can add these shapes as subtools by pressing Add or replacing existing ones with the Replace button. There are actually other options on the plugin like Polygroups by Normals or Polygroups by Angle with a dial to set according to the face angles. Power Control is also a plugin that helps you comfortably work on ZBrush. It comes with many useful features. For example, it allows you to hide arrays in just one click from a single place or activate a 100% full screen while every step is remembered. The brush selection allows you to store the value of the brush size, intensity, and other stuff so you can toggle between them. And this helps when assigning each size to a particular part or action while working instead of guessing. And you can assign hotkeys even if you are in full screen mode. And the same technique is applied to RGB intensity. In the toggle section, you can toggle between the brushes in a short period of time while you have the ability to configure the brushes that you want, I mean that you want to add to that group. And you can also customize your UI with the extra buttons option. The next plugin is called Easy Curves, which is a tool for creating and manipulating curves through one panel that gathers all settings and makes them easy to use. It is designed to simplify the workflow for artists when working with curves and solves the problems that are found in ZBrush's original curve tools. Now, let's talk about masking in ZBrush. Masking in ZBrush is one of the key aspects to achieve great results when creating a particular model and it helps you decide which part should be modified and which one should be avoided, even in tiny parts. However, one of the downsides with ZBrush in this regard is that there are a lot of settings everywhere when dealing with masking, unless you want to go through UI customization, configuring hotkeys, and so on. But luckily there is a plugin called Easy Masks, 
which is gonna help you gain control when dealing with masks instead of being lost within too many settings and buttons that are separated between tools and brushes. From what I can see, the plugin offers options to easily toggle between hiding, showing the masks, and back facing to prevent them from appearing in the opposite way. You can take actions like blur, shrink, and grow masks with a dial to set. In the mask macro section, you can mask my polygons to prevent the other groups from moving, and you can select a small part of the particular object if it is hard to select. Then click grow and mask all, and the object is easily masked before clicking on split and duplicate and you can create clothes after masking the part that you want to use as a base mesh for clothing and click make extract for clothing. More options to mask include create by topology, mask by border, cavity, polygroups and masking by alphas. And the plugin also allows you to configure extra toggling buttons which is very interesting. Now, working with UVs, export normals, displacement maps or polypaint textures is a bit tedious inside ZBrush, and it can be time consuming as well, because you have to go through several steps to finally get your model ready to be exported for VR, rendering, or game engines. That's why you would need to check the Power Maps plugin, and the plugin promises that it will help you avoid the extra work and adjustments or searching for tools, because it all happens in one place. Starting by importing your mesh, exporting with or without mapping, or clicking once to export the lower version of your model, I mean the low poly version. And you can flip UVs or check them in the checker section while selecting the checker from 18 patterns and test them by pressing test PBR rendering. You can also run the UV wizard to answer the questions that you asked to unwrap your model accordingly, or you can modify the UVs using the transpose icon or the tweaker to drag faces points or edges. And now you have more control over your UV's workflow inside ZBrush, which can help a lot. The next plugin is called Easy Save, which can be great for saving your projects. I mean, no more overwriting, renaming, or thinking about how you should save your work. You can just name and save your project inside a folder, then each time you click on Save Project Plus, it will automatically save a version of your project within the same name and a version number with just one click. It is also applicable for saving tools while remembering the previous names, whether they are tools or projects. There are also extra buttons for UI customization. And you can save independent particular tasks such as Save Render, Texture, Spotlight, Hotkeys, brushes, masks, alphas, etc. with the option of course of importing and exporting. Next we have a plugin called Easy Groups. As you may know, polygroups are a powerful feature inside ZBrush. It helps you select a particular part of your model to apply certain actions while other parts are not affected or hidden. And with Easy Groups, I mean the plugin, this feature becomes even easier and faster. So in the grouping micro section, you can do actions such as grouping connected parts while applying color, grouping mask areas while keeping the mask, grouping by UVs while joining similar UVs in the same group, and many more options like grouping by normals, grouping by shape feature, or selecting manually using brushes. And all of these are doable from a simple tool which is easy to use. So in the view section, you can display or hide the checker if you have the UVs and you can display poly frames with lines, without lines, or you can turn it off. You can also still fill the color or apply it to poly groups with the ability to change the colors by pressing the auto button several times. Next we have Power Modeler. Although it is a powerful 3D modeling software which can do texturing and sculpting, ZBrush has a downside when dealing with low poly or polygonal modeling. It comes with a modeling tool based on text, which is intimidating to work with if you tried it. You can't tell which action you should select unless you are familiar with it. However, thanks to the Power Modeler plugin, modeling is not just easy to work with, but it can also be fun. The plugin allows you to see each action with an icon and a text. Now you can know what to do, because there are 30 buttons to work with, which are gathered in an organized way and a simple toolbar icon. And this will definitely save you time and motivate you to do some low poly modeling or box modeling inside ZBrush in a comfortable way. 
Now, there is too much to do when your mesh is a mess inside ZBrush. Because honestly, it is a powerful program. It offers you all the necessary tools and settings to get your mesh clean and optimized. But it is sometimes time consuming, especially for professionals who don't have a lot of time. And for beginners, it can be intimidating because you would go through several steps and use many different tools. However, this might not be the case if you have a plugin called Easy Mesh. And from what I can see, with this plugin, you can turn your messy mesh into a clean one with just a few clicks. So you don't just turn your triangulated mesh into a quad one. You can choose options to prevent the mesh from being destroyed before you click the Easy Mesh Fix. You can select actions like Weld Points, Unify Mesh, and Optimize Points. And you can split and join any parts of the mesh in many ways in the Weld and Delete section. Or you can clean your topology with Group and Z Remesher. Last but not least, we have Power Primitives. And from its name, you can tell it is a simple plugin, which can be used for low poly modeling and blocking complex shapes inside ZBrush. In a nutshell, it provides primitive shapes with a dial to set according to the axis, or you can apply the modification on all axes after you choose the value with the slider. The plugin also provides 30 extra primitives with different shapes that you can find very useful when blocking or modeling a particular complex shape. And you can also group by normals or by angles with the slider. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these plugins or add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.